Hello everyone and welcome to another Bins video. We are back at the Hampton Bins here in Virginia. And as you can see, I'm doing my normal pushing everything over to one side of the bin so I can get to the bottom. And as I'm pushing stuff, I got a little distracted because I found a beautiful green quilt. I am checking just to see uh, if it's hand pieced or hand quilted. It is hand quilted. I uh, still am washing it now to see if it's uh, hand piece, but this is absolutely beautiful. I'm just checking to see if it has any major stains and as far as I can tell it does not I think this might be a either twin size or a full-size quilt, but it is absolutely Beautiful it has this interesting like Pointy edge. I've seen scalloped edge before I've not seen this so I'm really excited uh, to get this cleaned up and listed double check the piecing to make sure none of the pieces need to be restitched back together but this is absolutely gorgeous and quilts if you can at the handmade quilts if you can find them at the bins depending on the size and the pattern that they're being stitched in can go anywhere from like forty dollars to you know four hundred dollars it just depends on how old the quilt is and the fabric use and the style and how big it is but it's always an exciting day when I find a quilt. Uh, actually, I got here at 9 a.m., which is when they opened, which is surprising to me that it didn't seem very busy. Not only was it not as busy as I was expecting it to be at open, but it also wasn't hitting like it normally does. Uh, normally, like I'm finding like piece after piece. If I'm not, if it's not hitting at the books, it's hitting here at the close. And today, it just wasn't really hidden at all. I I went to Christopher Newport University. That's why I pulled that out, because I thought it was interesting. This is a set of polyest polyester, polyester <laughs> lace curtains. They are from JCPenney. These would technically be vintage. They are probably from the 80s. I did find a set of four of them. Uh, you're watching me pull them out now. Um, because they're polyester, I just decided to pass on them if they were cotton I might have thought about it because then I could have turned them into something else but I just decided to pull them all out put them together so if someone else was interested in them they could easily pull it out uh, sorry for the sniffling uh, I forgot to take my allergy medicine before coming to the bins uh, just tip if you are someone who suffers from uh, dust and debris allergies like mold or just regular allergies yeah maybe maybe pop the allergy medication of your choice before you know coming here this is a uh, florida state i would normally pick this up but this had severe wash wear like pilling for days uh, but i do normally pick up collegiate stuff if it is in collaboration with a well-known brand like adidas or nike or you know Reebok or something. I was trying to figure out what this is. Uh, it's a kid's blanket, but it wasn't any of like the well-known characters. It was like if that was a bluey kid's blanket, I probably would have picked that up because it would have been worth reselling. Uh, but because it was some just brightly colored thing, I just put that away. That is a, just a sheet. You see here, I'm pulling out a bunch of cloth as well. So my guess is, is that this is a fresh donation bin just based on what I've been pulling out. I haven't seen any of the little tags that indicates the restore pulls. This is an Adidas piece. It also had uh, some wash wear as well as some crusty pits so that went away to the side. Uh, my guess is it, it's a Calvin Klein piece. If this was a silk piece I would have picked it up but it was polyester. You can see I'm checking now to see if it's silk or not. It is just polyester. Um, I would actually have picked that up if it was silk because Calvin Klein is a good bread and butter brand. This is a vintage t-shirt. I found a vintage t-shirt uh, <laughs> here at the bins, uh, but it's an Old Navy. I've actually sold uh, vintage Old Navy shirts before. They're 4th of July shirts. Uh, you know, they sold for like 10 to $15 because they weren't like the old, old ones, like from when Old Navy first started. But um, that one had severe wash wear, so I did le leave that aside um, or I would have picked that up if it wasn't <laughs> in such poor condition but I have sold them before uh, what was I talking about oh so I was saying that this was a fresh donation bin and because I found that quilt in here I also found a lot of quilting fabric I found a lot of 
uh, great cotton fabric in here. So my guess is that someone had passed and then all of their projects got donated and they just decided to put them in the bins um, and not just their projects, but all of their fabric. Um, so if you are someone who likes to, if you are a maker, uh, the bins is a great place to get really cheap fabric. You know, I picked up some fabric here at this bins. Uh, I probably would have, I, I think I picked up like two yards of a quilting cotton, a floor quil quilting cotton. That probably would have cost me, you know, $10, $20 at Joann's. Uh, that is a Turkish towel. I don't know what that means, but it didn't feel like a towel. It felt like a like a rug. I don't know. I've never used a Turkish towel before, so it just went ahead to the side. It it kind of actually it felt like either uh, a towel that you would put down on the beach, like one of those ruggable towels that you use at the beach, or it felt like a scarf. This is a Levi's piece um, that had some. Un untoward things on it so I just set it aside. Here is that cotton I was talking about. This is Joan Kessler, not Joanne's. I thought originally it was Joanne's fabric but it's a beautiful beautiful cottagecore floral style fabric like you can see there. It's, it's probably like at least uh, a yard or two there and it's all the little stringies are coming. If you see there on my arm, it looks like I have painter's tape. It is not painter's tape. Now, the reason why I was able to get here at opening was because I had to get blood drawn for my annual checkup. So there's nothing wrong. It's just my annual checkup. So I, there's always blood draw beforehand. So I, because I was up early, I figured I might as well see what the bins is like at 9 a.m. This is a Kuji piece. Uh, Kuji, this is a more modern Kuji piece. It's not a vintage Kuji piece. I would have picked this up, but not only did it have color fading, it also had staining, it had pilling, it had a lot of condition issues, and because of that, I decided to go ahead and pass, despite the fact that it was a, like a good size, uh, it just had too many condition issues. If it was a vintage piece, I would have still picked it up, but I think that was like from the teens, 20 teens. You know, a pair of cargo shorts, Levi's cargo shorts, I, again, here's some more of that same fabric. So I was like, well, I picked up the other one. I might as well pick up that. But that's where I think the quilt, I think the quilt and all the fabric that I found here is all from the same household. That just seems to, to make sense to me. This is a Chico's piece. It is a, you know, just a purple t-shirt basic. I did pass on that. If it was Chico's Travelers, I would have picked it up. Here's a good pickup. So this is Land's End. I am trying to see if this is a reversible puffer jacket or not and it is not it's a regular lands in puffer it is for women's i'm also checking it over for stains because it is a cream colored puffer and those of you that have shopped at the bins know how rare it is to find anything light colored without stains on it at the bins but i managed to do it here it's in really good shape i'm also checking the size to see what size it is it is a women's size large so that's great according to lands in that's a size 12 to 14 um, because Land's End uses like regular sizing, like standard sizing. It doesn't do the vanity sizing, which is great. Kudos to them for that. This is just some kind of print. I think that's supposed to be Drake or something. I don't know. If I did know, I might have picked that up, but I did not know it. It kind of looked like Drake and somebody else, but I, I don't know. So this is me trying to get down to the bottom. So I reached over from the other bin to pull these out because they were light wash, and then I saw that they were Bugle Boy. If you did not know, Bugle Boy was originally founded by William Mao in 1977. And any Bugle Boy you find out in the wild is going to be vintage because, as I mentioned, they were founded in 1977 and then declared bankruptcy in 2001. So, you know, if they declared bankruptcy and went out of business in 2001. It is now 2024. So... It's at least 20 years old. Those are probably uh, from the late 80s, early 90s. And because it's light wash, and because it's Bugle Boy, and it's because it's their denim, I picked it up. Even though it's got stains on it, I'll, I'm going to try to get the stains out. But even with stains on, because it's got all of those factors, I do think I can still sell it. Uh, I don't pick up all Bugle Boy, but some of it I will pick up. I can't tell if this is supposed to be a table runner or a scarf. It feels a little bit too heavy to be a scarf, but was also like had a lot of wash wear. So I think someone maybe was using it as a scarf. I don't know. 
that was just a weird piece. Uh, just pulling stuff aside. Uh, this is a t-shirt. I don't know what Dodo is besides a bird that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I've never heard of the clothing brand. But, uh, you know, today just wasn't hitting. I, th I thought maybe because I was coming at 9 o'clock in the morning that I would just find all kinds of stuff. But really, it was it was not good today. Uh, it's been a while since I've gotten I've come to the bins and just felt kind of discouraged overall. You know, normally if, if one area of the bins is doing well or not doing well, then the other area is. Or sometimes everywhere is just awesome. Today it was just not. And I don't know if it's because uh, this I went on a Tuesday. And the day before was Monday, but it was President's Day. So I don't know if it's because of the fact that a lot of people came yesterday or because it was the holiday and new, new people were shopping. They put out all the good stuff yesterday. Don't know. Uh, I did pick up that Nike piece because it was a 1X. But yeah, I definitely could move that. And it just, like, my cart wasn't even that full as far as books go. So that was, there was also a lot of, like, diaper stuff. Uh, you know, the cloth diaper, like cloth diapering stuff was in here as well. So it was just, it was an interesting mix of stuff in this bins. But like I said, this was definitely straight donations. This is me trying to figure out what brand this is. Uh, I think it's called Pink Blush. Uh, it's a fast fashion brand. But because it's not hitting, I'm going to go ahead and give you to other Bob. And she's going to do the haul with y'all and show you what little bit I was able to eke out of the bins today. Welcome to the haul, y'all. I actually don't have very much uh, for the haul portion of this video because despite the fact I actually got there when they opened, I found less stuff, which is just how the bins work sometimes. I found less books. I found less clothing. I actually didn't find any shoes. I did find one quilt, which was absolutely lovely. So this is like the third time since I started doing weekly bins trips where I have found a quilt. I still need to list the one I got last time because I still have to repair it. And then this one I actually don't think needs any repairs, but it's currently in the wash, so I'm not 100% sure. So let me go ahead and show you what I found. And this is all for resale. Of course, everything is gonna go up on Whatnot first, so $2 a piece. And then what doesn't sell on Whatnot, I will put on eBay. And that is because everything I'm gonna show you is stuff that I'd be perfectly happy to sell in my own eBay store. But I'm offering it on Whatnot first as like cheap sourcing opportunities because my bins is only $1.29 per pound. When I get 20 pounds, of course, this time I didn't hit that, so it was $1.59 per pound, but I'm still gonna offer it up on Whatnot first. And you can get cheap inventory for yourself or just something inexpensive for yourself. So let me go ahead and show you and stop talking. Uh, the first, uh, okay, first item. Again, found something white at the bins that did not have any flaws, which is a miracle. This is Land's Inn. I've talked about how I will pick up stuff uh, from Land's Inn, L.L. Bean, uh, and Eddie Bauer at the bins. Not everything, but if I think it'll have a good return, I will pick it up or a fast return. This is a puffer vest, and it is a down puffer vest. It's like 80% down, 20%. This smells really good. <laughs> How rare is it to get something from the bins and it smells amazing? This actually smells like a really lovely uh, perfume. It will get washed. Uh, this is a size large, um, so that is amazing. I will definitely, this, this just smells so lovely. I don't know what perfume that lady was wearing, but they smelled amazing. Uh, this is a kid's item. I don't pick up very many kid's items, but this is Eddie Bauer. And as you can see, it's another puffer. It's not just a puffer. It is a hooded reversible puffer from Eddie Bauer. So it is this gray material on one side and black on the other. And if you ever see something where you like cannot find the size and it's a reversible item or you think it might be a reversible item, Chances are the size and um, information is actually in a tag inside a pocket, which is where this was. So here is the tag. It is Eddie Bowder. It is a medium kid size and it is size uh, 10, 12 for children. So super excited to find. It is kids, right? It's not, it's not people. Is it people? Is it? Is it people? 
Well, kids are people too. Oh, no, this is kids because this is like, I am not a medium sized child. Yeah, this is kids. I can't, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna rip myself out of this. <laughs> Big man and little girl. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely a child's jacket. I got confused there for a second. It is a child's reversible jacket. I have not washed this yet, so I will probably regret doing that, but curiosity got the best of me. It does have pockets inside and out. It is a medium size kids puffer. Uh, it's Eddie Bauer. Again, definitely that's an easy pickup for me. Of course, I picked up some vintage. Now, a couple of these pieces are going to need some stain treating, uh, but I found a Bugle Boy. And I will not pick up all Bugle Boy, but at the bins, I will pick up some Bugle Boy. It has to be like a super funky polo, not a basic polo, or a super funky button up, or on trend bottoms. And by on trend bottoms, this is a pair like so light wash is currently what is in vogue. You know, it used to be dark wash, now it is light wash. So I found a light wash pair of Bugle Boy shorts. Now these do have a stain on them, but I will use my stain treatment method to try to get that out. And even with the stain on it, I still think I can sell these if I can't get it out um, because light wash is so on trend, because these are 90s uh, and it's a pair of shorts. Now these are men's shorts. They are a size 34. So I think I can sell these. I am almost 100% sure I can sell these. These are a pair of 90s Bugle Boys light wash shorts. Again, it does have stains on them, but I will do my best to get them out. I also found another pair of Bugle Boy shorts, except these are khaki color. These don't have any stains on them. Um, this one is a 36, it has the paper tag, and these are 100% cotton. So a size 36. Again, a pair of 90s Bugle Boy shorts. Both of those are very on trend. Styles, again, 90s Y2K still in. I figured I could definitely sell those, especially since I'm getting at the bins, super cheap by cost, uh, which is also why I picked this up. This is Liz Claiborne, and I talked about how is a tall girly. I'm going to pick up anything I can find that is tall for my tall girlies. Um, I don't pick up everything Liz Claiborne for sure. Like I do pick up a lot of vintage Liz Claiborne and I only pick up modern pieces if it's on trend, but we have an XLT. So it's actually extra, extra large tall and it is new with tags. Original retail was $50. So not a high original retail, but I've talked about also dark academia. We have a regular back, back black button front. So I can put dark academia. It's new with tags. It's an XLT. It's checking off so many boxes for me, and it's also at the bins. So I am definitely picking this up. This probably cost me a dollar because it's a really lightweight shirt. All those, all those boxes were checked, so I picked that up. I've also talked about how I do really well with Nike, even the basics on um, eBay. They don't sell for a whole lot, but they do consistently sell for me. And this is a 1X, so not an XL, a 1X, so this is plus size modeled. And this is just a basic Nike t-shirt. This is really soft. It is surprisingly soft. It's like this blue tie-dye with the big swoosh on the front. I also have a vintage piece and you, and it's, it's a funny vintage piece. So this is basic editions, which is a Walmart brand. And this is from the eighties. It is an extra large made in the USA. It's a mesh tank top. And I think this is, I have to do measurements, but I think this might be women's, but it's an eighties basic editions <laughs> mesh tank top. It might be late eighties, early nineties, and this weighs nothing. So I'm just going to throw it up and see what happens. I just thought that that was really funny. I've also talked about that if you are a crafter or a sewist or a burgeoning tailor, the bins is a great place to pick up fabric. I actually didn't pick up several things of fabric, uh, but I did pick up this. Uh, of course, I will wash this as well. And this is just some 80s cotton. It is 100% cotton. It's Joan Kessler, which I think is really funny because uh, Kessler is the last name of one of my uncles. 
I don't think there's a relation there, but it's very cottage core 80s fabric. It is 100% cotton. So I will find something for this. Uh, this is really good to make um, like quilting, this is a quilting fabric, and it would also be good to do some like 80s patterns. Like if I find an 80s pattern I want to make, I can make it. Or if I can do like older stuff. So this actually would make great breeches for men. For like colonial breeches because these loud floral patterns with it not quite like this but i it could get away with it so there is that linen y'all know how much i love my tahari linen pieces especially at the bins so this is 100 percent linen it's a women's size a small it's got the three-quarter sleeve it is a boxy fit very log and look you guys know how i feel about this so this doesn't have any stains on it it just needs to get washed we have uh, this is another lands end piece it is a size six and it's just a pleated skirt. It's Land's End. It's a pleated skirt. It's This is giving very much like schoolgirl vibes. Uh, so I just picked that up because that will always do well for me. Vintage Gap. I think this is 90s Gap. I'm not 100% sure. I have to look it up. This is made in Canada. I talked about how much I love corduroy. And this is a women's size medium corduroy jacket. And a nice beige color. I have, again, I have to look up the tag because I think this is Vintage Gap. Um, but I think that this is great. So I picked that up. And then I also picked up this. Now this is Forever 21. And again, I will offer it up on Whatnot first. If it doesn't sell on Whatnot, uh, I'm probably going to do something with this. But it is a men's size large. It is an acid wash style. So it's like supposed to be vintage inspired men's large acid wash style jean jacket like trucker style jean jacket uh i will need to do some work with inside the collar it does have some wear inside the collar and i don't know if that's supposed to be like that it might be uh but i will have to clean up the collar and the cuffs but of course i will wash this before it goes up on whatnot and if it doesn't sell on whatnot i will be doing something really cool with the back before i put it up on ebay so there is everything i know it's a super small haul this time y'all don't worry the books were also this small and you know i've been doing these weekly bins trips now for almost two months and it's different every single time and some sometimes it's like oh my god i got so much stuff and sometimes it's like mm, it's a little slim but that's okay so i'm glad that i've gotten to see what it's like to get there at nine o'clock in the morning it's not any better, a little bit worse. Um, one, because I was up at nine o'clock in the morning and a two, because I didn't find that much. So I'm perfectly happy to continue going at my 11 a.m. chill time. And that was probably what's gonna be going forward. That's probably what I'm gonna be doing going forward. I just wanted to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys maybe on Thursday. Again, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, on whatnot if you want any of these pieces. If not, I will see you in the next video. Hero, Bye. Bye. Hero, hero. I wanna be a hero, hero. Oh, the hero comes